Yes, and Jelani Asar here with Income Protection Atlanta. First things first, go to IncomeProtectionAtlanta.com. Right now, just open up a new tab or a new browser in Firefox or whatever your browser may be. Go to IncomeProtectionAtlanta.com and join our email list so you can receive your free report entitled Protect My Income in Atlanta only for you if you desire more financial security in this volatile and chaotic economy. And now let's get to our interview with another mesmerizing Atlanta business owner. <laughs> so how did you get started in the business? Uh, personally or as the company itself? Well, the company itself and then you. Okay. Uh, the company itself, uh, it all started with two best friends and two of the three owners um, have known each other way back since the 70s and 80s. And then I am best friends with uh, the third par partner, which is one of the guy's brother. So it's a very family-knit uh -huh. because we've all known each other since we were right out of high school. Uh -huh. And so the three of, well, the two, the two original partners, one of them, he and his brother were outdoor enthusiasts. So they always backpacked together. They climbed. They hang glided. They did everything they could as brothers outside. Well, the other partner was the IT guy, the Internet guy. Right. So, he, so as a business, uh, the one partner who is a lawyer, believe it or not, needed, or somehow they had an arrangement where one of them owed some of them or one of the other guys money. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll pay you back, but I'm going to take you outdoors climbing. So they went to Yosemite and talk about climbing. I mean, they went outside to, you know, God's playground. I mean, this is Yosemite National Park. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, the guy introduced the other guy to just an incredible experience. Mm. And they said, well, you know, and this was back in the uh, early 90s. I'm talking like 89, 90. Mm. So at that point, indoor climbing gyms were primarily only in the northwest. There was Seattle. There was a couple of them down in California. And there was one even like up in the northeast. So they hadn't really made its way to every state like they have now. But they started to look at other gyms. And they said, Well, what do you think? Here we need here we have Atlanta, you know, and this was, you know, once again in the nineties. So the forethought and knowing that uh as the southeast we've got great climbing outside. So there's a lot of climbers here. So we tapped into uh, that market and said, well, here we go. Um, you know, we're going to open up this little warehouse and build a climbing wall and let's see how it goes. And, man, it just took off. So really? as a climber, you know, to have a place to go and train <laughs> without having to deal with the weekend and all that, because as a climber, you need to be on the wall at least twice a week. Mm -hmm. So so that way you stay in shape, your endurance is good, everything's right. fine-tuned. So that's really how it got started. Uh, there was a market for it, and, man, they kick off with it. So, uh. And then myself, I got into it because of my passion for the outdoors as well. Um, I was uh, – my background is in horticulture. So okay. at, at the time, um, I was moving back to Atlanta, and – one of the business partners, he was like, man, we need somebody to run our business. Uh -huh. So so they wanted somebody that they could know and trust. And right. That was me. So I started in 1999 and helped build the second facility, and uh, which is the one that you see now, uh, the Atlanta Rocks in town, which is the one off of 75. Okay. The original facility was up in Doorville, which is uh, – uh, 285 and Peachtree Industrial Area. Okay, yeah. So, um, so yeah, it was kind of a unique uh, 
job for me as well because here I was coming from designing gardens and implementing color beds and, you know, doing everything outside to doing a uh, to running a business that focused on a passion of mine right. and yet gave me the ability to teach others. <laughs> so over the years, my job has continued to grow as the general manager because of, number one, like social media, uh, uh-huh. you know, just uh, customer service needs. Um, so myself, I have grown just like the company. It's it's really turned me into a smarter, more savvy person. Interesting, just all around. All around, all around. Yeah, I've I've uh, come to realize that uh, you know when when you're outside in your own in your own environment, that's one thing. But boy, when you talk about customer service and dealing with people every day, it's yeah, a, it's a beautiful thing, and it's also got its ugly side as well. Uh-huh. So, so thankfully, uh, you know, since we've been in business for 17 years now, uh, you know, I mean, that's a that's a big perk. Uh, obviously, Atlanta has loved us and uh, continues to do so. Right. And could you elaborate more on what's required to be successful running your own company? I mean, all the different skills that you have well, to yeah, learn well, and apply yeah. every single day. Yeah, the the patience, the adaptions. Uh, the learning to um, uh, really reinvent your business if need to. Uh-huh. You know, you've got to be able to, um, you know, just always maintain your principal goal. I mean, our goal is, number one, is safety, and then also customer service. Right. So as customer service and safety together it's uh it's just you're always on your toes you know you've always got to be at your best uh you've uh, my my philosophy when i'm training new staff is just like a restaurant basically you go to a restaurant that has a clean bathroom and the customers will always come back right so so my facility is one of the cleanest indoor climbing gyms you will ever step your foot in uh-huh. uh you know it's it's the the uh the environment is uh somewhat what we call chalky because what climbers use to you know they use chalk to climb right so every every now and then that's the uh extent of what we have to mop and sweep and take care of but uh you know as a climbing gym we also have uh, cardio and free weight so we have to take care of the hygiene problems with uh workout equipment et cetera right. so right. You know, we've always got to, you know, you've got showers. You've got, you know, you've got grandmothers and grandparents coming in to use your bathroom. So right. you've got to make sure you're you're on it. So. Yeah. And then on that, is it common? I don't really remember with Chelsea Piers. I mean, is it common to have a, a workout facility in the same area as or I, along well, with? You know, it it is for... Well, we wanted it to be uh, something to complement what you were already working on. So as a gym with workout equipment, you know, after you work out or after you climb, that's when you tend to work out a, a certain dif- or different certain muscle groups. Right. Um, you know, the old adage, you don't want to st- uh, stretch a cold muscle, so that's why we have stationary bikes and ellipticals and treadmills because it gives our customers and members, um, you know, inside inclement weather and you put the cost of a membership to Atlanta Rocks as opposed to LA Fitness or Lifetime or one of the other, you know, bigger games. Right. Uh, you're talking $75 for a month versus, you know, I, I, I don't even know what it is. I just know it's not that cheap. So. <laughs> So you, yeah, it's, 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 it's extremely affordable. Yeah, exactly. It's extremely it's affordable. affordable for students, and we have fire, police, and military discounts, and nurses, and teachers. Everybody can. I mean, if you're not any of that, then you know. I'm sorry, but we've we've tried. <laughs> we <can't laughs> give everybody some kind of a discount, but uh, <laughs> you know, um, you know, there is. 
And then what I'm thinking of... And wonderful. And join us for our next part of another fantastic interview with our great guest, with another amazing Atlanta business owner. In the next video.